Today, we are going to find out which of these two group sets behind me is the best. Shimano Ultegra 12 speed or the brand new and very shiny 105 Di2. What are the key differences you need to know? And I've been riding these two bikes for the last few weeks to try and find out. So we talk about price, weight, shift speed, ergonomics and general performance and how to compare. And really the big question to answer today is, is there any point in buying Ultegra where we now have the option of 105 Di2? One way to find out, let's dive in. Now, naturally, it's easy to assume that 105 Di2 is the obvious choice because it's virtually the same as Ultegra and even Durace. I mean, they're both 12 speed, they both have the same shape hoods. We have a new visual look in terms of the cranks and the front and rear mechs. The shifters are now wireless from the front and rear mechs with the same internal frame battery. You now charge with group set from the rear mech and we have better smartphone Bluetooth integration as well. So on the surface, they are the same, but peel away that top layer and there are some key fundamental differences. The first one is the price. So the new 105 Di2 retails for the group set on its own for £1,700 here in the UK, whilst Ultegra Di2 is £2,300. So a £600 difference, and that is quite a lot of money. And the other big difference is on the scales. 105 Di2 is just under three kilograms, whilst Ultegra is 2,700 grams, so a 300 gram difference. Or another way to put it, you're paying 600 pounds more for Ultegra and a 300 gram weight saving. And which of these you choose comes down to how deep your pockets are and how much a weight weenie you are. If you are concerned about weight and you have deep pockets, then clearly Ultegra Di2 is a group set to go for. But if you're on a budget, and you don't care about weight, because let's be honest, weight isn't everything, then 105 Di2 is an obvious choice. Now, when it comes to actually riding in group sets, I've been riding two bikes for the last few weeks, there are some key differences, but one big similarity. When your hands are on the hood, your main contact point with the bike and the group set, they feel the same because the hoods are the same. They both have the same shape, the same profile, and the same rubber material, so they feel the same, which is a good thing, because I love the shape of the new hoods, a real success in my opinion. The only real clue to which bike you're riding is in the temperature of the brake levers, which sounds bizarre, I know. But we have alloy levers on 105 and they're cold to the touch, whereas the carbon on Ultegra are not cold to the touch, but the shapes of the levers are the same. And shifting and braking performance on both bikes is generally fantastic. Everything you want from a modern group set in 2022. But it's when you dive into the differences in a bit more detail that you really start to notice the difference in the two group sets. The first subtle difference is in shifting speed. Now, they both have improvements in terms of shifting responsiveness, and rear shifting on both bikes is fantastic. And I think, I'm led to believe, they have the same motor technology in each rear mech. So shifting speed up and down the cassette is absolutely fantastically fast. We don't have Hyperglide Plus on the 105 cassette, which you do have on Ultegra, but I can't really feel the differences. And I feel shifting speed on both cassettes to try and illustrate the difference, which as you can see, is very minimal, if any at all. There's a more notable difference in front shifting speed. And here, the new Ultegra and Durace bring a big improvement in terms of front shifting speed. Basically, Ultegra and Durace, you can whack that chain up and down the chain rings all day long. Bang, 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 bang. No delay at all. Absolutely fantastic. Probably easily the best front shifting experience I've ever had. Now, 105 Di2 is still very good, but it's clearly not as fast as Ultegra and Durace as well. And you see the differences in the front mechs themselves. Ultegra is much smaller, much more compact whilst 105 is pretty much the same as the old Ultegra. So we have, I reckon, the older motor system in here, hence why it's not quite as quick, not quite as speedy up and down chain rings as Ultegra over here. So shifting speed at the back, the same in my opinion, at the front, 105 Di2, not as fast, 
Now, don't get me wrong, front shifting speed on 105 is still fantastic. It's still electric, excuse the pun. And if you're racing and you want the best of the best, then Ultegra is it. But if you're not shifting at the front much and you're not too worried about having that laser focused shift speed, then you might be just fine on 105 DIT. It's definitely not tardy in that way. It still shifts very fast, just not as fast as the best over here. There's now a small difference in the braking performance. So the new Ultegra has Servo Wave, which is borrowed from GRX, and it's basically a non-linear brake action. So when you first pull the brake lever with Ultegra, the pads move faster compared to the lever travel to basically bring the pads closer to that bite point, ready for you to re-squeeze them hard for a corner. It gives a really nice light modulation feel, where you don't get that in 105 Di2. But the difference, riding both bikes on the same course and the same hills, the difference is very, very slight. And to be honest, while you can feel it, if you really look for it, going from one bike to the other bike, I wouldn't say I absolutely need it on Ultegra and I can't live without it on 105. So a very small difference. And again, come down to whether you want the best of the best or you're happy to have what is previously the best of the best. And now we come to a real crunchy part of the differences between the two group sets, gearing options. Shimano 105 Di2 offers two crank sets, compact 5034, fly buzzing around, and a 5236, whilst at the back, 1134 and 1136. You can't officially use this with an 1130 or 1128. 1134 is the smallest you can officially use, so bear that in mind. Ultegra, meanwhile, 1128, 1130, that's 1130 right there, or 1134 is usable on the new group set, whilst at the front, you have compact, 52, 36, and actually maximum. If you want a 53, 39, or a 54, you have to go up to a dual race. So while the chain set options are the same, the rear mech options and the rear cassette options that are a big difference. And that really illustrates how Shimano is pitching the new 105 Di2. Less at the racing sector of the cycling world and more at sporty riders and general leisure cyclists and recreational people. People who want to ride bikes for fun and pleasure, but maybe not racing. And if you are racing, we well, have got a dual race, if you're sponsored, and Ultegra is a racing option, and that's reflected in the gearing options. So while I understand where Shimano is coming from, I think it's a real shame and a real missed opportunity that you can't run an 1130 on this. If you want an aero race bike, but you can't afford Ultegra or dual race, but you can get one of our Di2 and get the same 1130 or 1128 with a 5236 and have a really good setup for road racing, or if you live somewhere flatter, where you simply don't need 1134 or 1136. So an interesting move, a bold move. I guess time will tell whether they've made the right move, or whether there will be a U-turn down the road. So that's something worth bearing in mind. If you're hoping to get 105 DI2 and have a race set up with 1130, well, officially you can't do it. But I'm sure some people will push the limits and see if you can put 1130 on there. I haven't tried myself, but let me know if you do try that at home. So the answer to my opening question of which of these two group sets is the best really comes down to neither is best. It depends on your view on weight, the price, gearing options, and the latest advances. If you want the best of the best, you've got deep pockets, and you want the lightest setup and the race of your gears, Ultegra Di2 is a better option. But if you're on a budget and can't stretch to Ultegra and you don't care about weight and the gearing options work for you, then 105 Di2 will be better for you. They are both really good options and depends on what you want. But I think it's worth talking about the key differences. Some are obvious and some not so obvious based on my time riding two group sets. So hopefully this video has helped you if you are in the market for a new bike this year and deciding between 105 Di2 or spending more getting Ultegra Di2 and what the differences are. Feel free to leave a question down below in the comment section if there's anything I didn't cover. And don't forget to watch the separate video reviews on a two group sets link down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel by hitting the button right here. I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.